So in the fourth film, as I talk about fellowship, what we see are these three individuals who really have fallen in love with God and they've, they've experienced this fear of God. And, and so there's a, there's a commonality to them and, and they decide to follow Jesus. They're filled with the Spirit. And so immediately they, they gravitate to each other because they've had this common experience. And, and it's really about them going through this journey together. And as they journey together, the bond just gets closer and closer. So as I'm talking about the fellowship naturally happening, we're seeing that actually played out by these characters. We're here at the end of our second day, final day, um, at the Trona Pinnacles location, which is a beautiful uh, dry lake bed um, with these kind of coral pinnacles that just jut out of the ground like teeth. We did uh, basically all of our effect shots because this is the part of the story where we transition from the cube reality to basically the start of the journey. With the effects work that we did today, we basically are filming the blank canvas, if you will, of what's gonna go into the effects process. Today is basically you have your plate, which is your background, and then the addition of tracking markers, which were basically just black painted tennis balls. Really, all that they're used for is just if you could imagine putting a thumbtack in an image to remember where it is, and as you track the motion of it, it can basically get a sense of what the camera's doing. So as we start to actually place the cubes in the frame, uh, and composite and layer them together, the, uh, the actual motion of the cubes will match the exact motion of the camera. And that way you've got a smooth kind of composite um, and you start kind of building this world. Each shot requires a lot of thought ahead of time to make it look perfect at the end. You can't really just start talking about church until you establish who is the church. It's, it's the people who who fear God, the people who've decided to follow Jesus and now are filled with His Spirit. And so now that we've got that established, the, the goal was to explain what do we do? How do we live? What, what was church supposed to look like? Jesus said 2,000 years ago, I will build my church and the gates of hell won't stand against it. I will create this type of supernatural unity and gathering. And, and so it's not something that we have to force, like, okay, let's, let's do the fellowship thing. Let's make it happen. No, God says, I'm going to make it happen. And the question is, is do you want to be a part of it? Do you want to have this sharing, this fellowship that God intended for his church? Or do you want to continue living in isolation? He looks at them or turns yeah. halfway back, goes over the hill, and then they follow, right? Settle, here we go. And action. At the start of the fourth film, uh, when the walls dissolve, and we reveal this beautiful desert wasteland location where the journey kind of commences, you might be thinking that you're just gonna see the character from the third film, but we reintroduce the character from the second as well as the first, so that when we come back to it in the story, the fear, uh, understanding the fear of God, or understanding what it means to follow, or understanding what it means to be filled with the Spirit, you see that in these characters throughout the story. So we actually have them finding one another and making their way to the teacher, and then together kind of starting this journey. And not have it something where they're on their own, which is important, because a big part of what Francis is saying about this is a part of what's wrong with church today is that we just try to have this one-on-one -on -one relationship with God. When it was in fact a relationship with God with us, 
Yes, he saves us all individually and cares and loves for us individually, but we're meant to do something and live his will out together. I think that's a beautiful kind of picture that we get here in the fourth film, which is the first part of the actual journey that these uh, four characters take together. People can't just change on their own. People have been steeped in uh, their traditions, their rituals, their way of doing church and Christianity for years. And now we're challenging them to look at that biblically and then be willing to change their lives, their perspectives, their, their actions, and pursue this mission. And that's really an uncomfortable thing for people to do.